Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to install custom scenery in Flight Gear. To be specific, this is going to be for Pueblo Memorial Airport in Pueblo, Colorado. So let's go ahead and get to it. And you can go right here to my site and download this for free. And the link to this page is in my description. So if you look at Flight Gear here, you can see um, this is the original airport for Pueblo Memorial. And this runway right here does not exist, I believe, since the 40s. And this runway right here, 26 right, 8 left, should be 8 right, 26 left. And then these, this runway here shouldn't be here. It should be like up here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started on installing this. Now the first thing you're going to do here is you're going to get this file downloaded from my website. And you're going to get, this is basically what you're going to get right here. Is, and you just, you just go, through, go here and extract it. And then you'll get this file right here. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go here and open this file and take this file right here, the airport file and you're going to copy that and put it somewhere where you know where it's easy to find. I put mine on a separate drive, that's where I like to keep all of my information, all my files. So I have mine right here in, on my F drive. So let's go ahead and open that up and take a look at this. So the first thing we have to do, and this is per flight gear, this is what they say, because the ILS approaches are changing runway numbers, you have to go in here and copy this and then you need to go to open up your C drive and go into your program files and then your flight gear data nav aids and you're going to just paste that nav dat right here and overwrite that file and that's fine then what you need to do is we need to open flight gear up, well flight gear, and we need to go over here to add-ons. Now in this file here there is your custom scenery file and that's what you need to get in here in your in, in your add-ons. So we're going to go to add and then we're going to go find that file which I have it right in here right here and that's the custom scenery just highlight that and select it and that puts it in there and then you need to close out flight gear and reopen it and when you do that it's going to lo reload all the airport data information all the airport information as a matter of fact Now when you go back into the location you're going to see the airports have changed the airport runways have changed where and you actually have some parking down here that was put in by my friend he did this airport by the way and your runways are correct you have 8 right 26 left and then 8 left and 26 right if you remember that runway was down here and that's where it's supposed to be so let's go ahead and go in here and I'll give you a little tour of it real quick okay so you can see here we're just gonna take the UFO for a little tour here and you can see that the runway is fixed that the one runway that was at the 45 angle there runway 30 I believe it was is gone and that's as it should be and everything is set up correctly and we even have all of our buildings hangars and everything set up here and all of our airplanes the tower and even the fire station there and that's pretty much it so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please feel free to contact me thanks